Welcome to Ignite Phoenix 15, and by round of applause, how many of you have been here before? How many of you are first timers? Awesome. My name is Raul, and I'm here to welcome you to the show. Tonight, thank you, you are going to hear from 18 presenters who were greenlit by our panel of judges from a submissions pool of more than 130. Now, our secret formula for Ignite Phoenix, not really so secret. Each presenter gets five minutes and 20 slides, and each of their slides will advance every 15 seconds, whether they like it or not. <laughs> kind of like that. Now, you're welcome to be on your devices, tweeting and Instagramming away, but please use our hashtag and keep your volume off and the brightness down, so be respectful of those around you. So with that housekeeping out of the way, let's get back to this, the 15th iteration of Ignite, and the 15th element of the periodic table. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Fun to say and not that hard to spell. It turns out it was hard to figure out because alchemists in the 17th century were trying to convert lead into gold using human urine. Not quite a yeah science moment. As it turns out, phosphorus is an essential mineral for life and a key component of DNA. Phosphorus is also poisonous and highly combustible. It can be used to make bad things like methamphetamine and explosive things like thermite. But we know phosphorus mostly because of its use in match. In fact, in Spanish, the word fosforos means matches. And when it comes to matches, and it comes to lighting a match, phosphorus is the star of the show. Phosphorus starts a series of chain reactions that result in a lit match. And it starts with what you hear. The friction of striking a match generates heat, and that heat converts red phosphorus to white phosphorus. The white phosphorus ignites, which is what you see. As the white phosphorus burns, it burns sulfur. And the sulfur releases sulfur dioxide, which you smell. Eventually, the match is lit, and it's all due to our exciting element number 15. Now, I have a warning, and there's some danger. You don't want to try this at home. Lighting 20 or more matches can be fun, but it's pretty dangerous. So tread lightly. You may end up with a reaction you hadn't expected. In our particular case, our reaction started with our humble element phosphorus, and it yielded this beautiful, ethereal image, kind of like blue ice or blue sky. And in a similar way tonight, our presenters are the phosphorus. They are the stars of the show. And they are going to, you are going to get a chance to see them and hear them. And if all goes well, you won't smell them. <laughs> They're going to release their ideas, their experiences, and their stories out into this theater, allowing us to react to them. That will start a whole new set of chain reactions. It's possible your brain will light up, causing even further ideas and additional reactions. You might even be inspired to submit a talk for the next Ignite Phoenix. But let's talk about tonight. Tonight is a night for chemistry. The chemistry of ideas. Ideas bouncing around, reacting with one another, here, in this big and messy crucible that we call Ignite Phoenix. And you're a part of that. You help create the safe and supportive laboratory where our presenters come to share their experiments. Because you're known as the best audience in Phoenix. <laughs> Cheer them, whether they kill it or they stumble. Support them, this is not easy, okay? And whatever your views, please respect theirs. So if you're all warmed up, and I know I am, let's get a reaction going. Your applause gets that first presenter onto this stage. <laughs> 